How's it going you guys? So I'm about three weeks out from my fight and uh, I've been doing everything I can to prepare for this. Uh, one thing I've been doing lately is making sure that I get enough minerals in my diet and I actually started uh, consuming almost entirely animal foods, uh, carnivore diet, um, at the beginning of my fight camp which was about six weeks, uh, six weeks out. And I did this because uh, I feel like I have the most energy and I'm able to recover the, the fastest and I don't have all that fiber in my digestive tract weighing me down. And uh, that way I don't have to shit myself uh, while I'm training because um, I train in the morning. And yeah, lots of fiber makes me shit for like hours when I wake up. So anyway, I've been paying a lot of attention to my minerals because I sweat so much. One reason why a lot of people can't do MMA and kickboxing on a keto or a carnivore diet is because it's not, it has nothing to do with carbs, trust me. I used to think it had something to do with carbs until I realized all that white rice I used to eat wasn't helping me at all and I performed better with, uh, without any carbs at all. Uh, but what I have found is it's the magnesium, it's the potassium, and it's the sodium that you eat. And if you're not uh, replacing the, especially potassium, potassium, you can get enough potassium if you eat the juices of the, the meats and the organs that you're eating on a carnivore diet. But it's very challenging to get enough potassium. You'd have to eat like three pounds of flesh, and that's like pure flesh without the fat, in order to get enough potassium. Magnesium is a whole nother story. You can get enough magnesium, but again, you have to be eating about three pounds of flesh a day. Now, I notice prominent uh, carnivore gurus on YouTube, like Frank Tufano, and even people like Sean Baker. Um, but Frank Tufano, you know, he eats the nose to tail carnivore diet. The problem with him is that he devalues the importance of minerals, okay? So look, Frank Tufano is clearly suffering from a mineral deficiency. Um, he has all the symptoms. I mean, clearly he's suffering from muscle weakness. You've seen his exercise videos, horrible. Uh, to be honest with you, he just doesn't know how to train, but um, he has sleep problems, okay? And he's, he's constantly talked about uh, his severe sleep problems. And he's had these ongoing sleep problems uh, for like two years now. And he's tried uh, supplementing with honey and all sorts of things to see if that helped. Now, the funny thing about Frank Tufano is that he openly claims that uh, potassium is not important on a carnivore diet. Uh, what's more important is uh, balancing out the sodium content. And I think he said if you don't eat sodium, you don't need to supplement with potassium because uh, sodium throws off the balance of potassium and other minerals. Uh, honestly, I don't care what the specifics of what he says is. What I care about is that he believes supplementing with potassium is not a good idea and he recommends people not supplement with potassium. He also recommends people not supplement with magnesium and he's also mentioned that calcium is not important uh, on a carnivore diet because in nature, in nature, uh, there's no real good source of calcium other than dairy, he says. Now, here's the thing. So I'm going to address the calcium claim first. Look. It's a fact, if carnivorous animals do not get enough calcium, they will suffer from uh, bone demineralization. They will suffer from the thinning of the bone because the body actually pulls calcium from bones to compensate. And I know this because I know of someone who only fed um, their cats uh, muscle meats like Sean Baker and, and liver, and then eventually liver too. Even muscle meats and liver actually. And um, ended up uh, uh, suffering for that. And uh, basically their cat had um, dangerously low bone mineral density and uh, had to put the cat on supplements, calcium supplements. Um, and that is horrible. And pretty much everyone who feeds their cat a raw meat diet, um, they supplement with bone meal. And if they can't get bone meal from the butcher, then they have to go and they have to um, either give them calcium supplements or uh, buy the pre-made cat foods, uh, raw cat foods that are sold in pet food stores. And these have bone meal added to them, okay? The point here is the, the, the cats will suffer without, 
bones without calcium, they will develop osteoporosis. And this is most noticeable in children, uh, human children, or in uh, young cats, because they don't have the bone mineral density yet that's built up. So they don't have the stores of calcium. An adult will have plenty of bone to burn through until they run out and they have paper thin bones, okay? But the fact is carnivorous animals need bones. They need calcium. And so if you're a human and you believe that um, humans are carnivores or hyper carnivores and you think for one second, oh, like calcium's not important because uh, there's no real good source of calcium in nature. Like guy, you're an idiot, really? Like, oh yeah, like there's not a good uh, source of calcium in nature because carnivorous animals don't eat bones. Like, have you never like even researched a carnivore's diet? What's wrong with you? You don't have a fucking clue about carnivorous uh, nutrition, <laughs> you know? And, and this is very common with Frank Tofano. Doesn't know shit about the carn about uh, hunter-gatherer tribe's health, which is why he got owned by uh, vegan gains on their first debate, um, you know, and uh, also why he's getting owned with this whole, like, um, workout video shit, because he sucks, doesn't know jack shit about working out. This is not me talking shit about him, I mean, you could, I mean, maybe it is. It is me just being blunt. He doesn't know what he's talking about, period. So if you follow his advice and you, you eat a no cell carnivore diet without a source of calcium, you're fucked, okay? And it's sad. It's fucked up. It's dangerous. Absolutely. This goes for anyone eating any kind of diet. If you're not getting enough minerals, okay, you will suffer from depression, anxiety, headaches, migraines, uh, sleeplessness, um, you know, restlessness jittery mental patterns and behavior like an overall feeling of stress pretty much everything that Frank Tofano is suffering from and uh, you know his potass the potassium if you're not getting enough potassium you will suffer from uh, lethargy sleeplessness uh, fatigue weakness uh, you know insomnia anxiety Believe me, supplementing with potassium is a game changer on a keto or a carnivore diet. Now, this is actually one of the best arguments for including, you know, maybe some like um, fruit or tubers in your diet is because they're extremely high in potassium and magnesium, okay? So if you include, you know, let's say 10 bananas a day, which is a lot of, uh, a lot of starch and a lot of fructose, right? A lot of carbs. Uh, but 10 bananas a day will supplement, will give you enough folate, enough vitamin B1, uh, enough manganese. These, these, these are vitamins that are very hard to get on a carnivore diet. They can be gotten, okay? It's a lot of liver you got to eat for the folate and B1. Um, but uh, they'll also supply you with enough uh, magnesium and potassium and even vitamin C <laughs> for the entire day now I'm not advocating eating a lot of carbs or a lot of bananas I'm just pointing out um, especially in regards to hydration if you're an athlete um, bananas they'll they'll uh, help the body retain minerals because they're restoring glycogen and uh, also they're extremely high in potassium vitamin C magnesium and all of the B vitamins that are deficient that are hard to get on a carnivore diet pretty much all the water soluble nutrients you need okay and so again I'm not I'm not recommending people slam down bananas like freely the banana girl okay all I'm saying is uh, I what I'm really saying here is you need to be making sure you get enough calcium enough magnesium enough potassium do not follow horrible advice from people like Frank Tufano uh, oh, you don't need calcium. You don't need potassium. Good luck with that, broke back mountain fuck. Okay? <laughs> That's what he's going to be in a, in, in a couple years if he doesn't start eating bone meal, um, you know, or, or eggshells or uh, sardines with the bones. Probably about, I'd say, 10 to 16 ounces worth of sardines with the bones to get enough calcium. Yeah, it's bad. So leave your question in the comments down below and I'll talk to you all in the next video.